Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a drugstore starter kit for beginners. So you wanna start your makeup collection, you wanna expand your makeup collection, you wanna to go to the drugstore, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money. This video is for you. Even if you are not a beginner and you just want some bomb drugstore makeup products, this video is for you. You guys are gonna love these products. They are amazing and I basically have everything you would ever need for like a full glam or like an everyday look. We have foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, everything. You guys know I love drugstore makeup and I'm a firm believer in you don't need to spend a lot of money to start your makeup kit to look beautiful, feel beautiful. I mean, especially nowadays, there's like so many options at the drugstore. It is insane. So I have some old favorites in here, of course, and then I have some new drugstore favorites that I cannot stop using. So definitely grab a snack, get cozy. We're going to be here for a while, probably. I'm going to stop talking with my hands, spirit fingers. Okay, let's get into it. Here we go. Let's start off with the brows. So I talked about this in a recent makeup tutorial, but I have been loving this brand for brows. It's amazing. It's at Target actually. And this is the Arches and Halos Professional Brow Line. So you can get this again at Target. This is their pencil that I have been loving. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I feel like there's so many dupes at the drugstore nowadays for the Brow Wiz, but this one is like spot on. So I have this one in the shade, I believe it's Espresso. Yes, Espresso, which is like the second darkest shade. I'm just gonna take this and outline my brows like always. I'm gonna try to speed through this because you guys have seen me do this a million times. And you know, brows are personal preference. Do whatever works for you. You could even fill your brows in with this, but I personally love to just outline and then fill them in with a pomade because I'm a pomade girl, but do you. Then sticking with the same Arches and Halos brand, I'm gonna use their pomade, which specifically is called their Luxury Brow Building Pomade. And this one is also in the shade Espresso, and I'm just gonna take this and just fill in the rest of my brows. Since we're talking about drugstore, this brow lash brush, you can get it at Walmart. It's from Equate, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna take that pomade and I'm just going to run that right in my brows and I'm also going to spoolie through as I go. Okay, brows are cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids. This is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer. This is honestly all that I use for the most part. This is the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. I definitely agree that this is waterproof. I actually wore this, like I wear it all the time, but I specifically wore this on my wedding day, which for those of you who don't know, I did just get married on February 1st. And I was crying. I had my makeup on for like over 12 hours that day and my eyeshadow was still in place. So this stuff is the real deal. So I am just gonna take this and just apply it all over. So, so good. I like actually need to get a new one. I'm just gonna use an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend that in. I mean, honestly, I could use my fingers. Like my nails aren't that long. If you are on a budget, if you're not on a budget actually, and you just want some really good eyeshadows, Profusion. Profusion is probably, I think, one of the best drugstore brands for eyeshadows. As far as like the variety, the colors, and like what you get for the price, it's just like unbeatable. Like I'm obsessed with this palette. Like I feel like this quality and just like the colors, it just reminds me of something that could be like more high end. So obviously like the packaging is a little cheapy, you know what I mean, like the outside, but I care about what's on the inside and what's on the inside is magic. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. I'm gonna take this and run it right in my crease. Perfusion is available at Walmart, Target, online of course. You kind of have to just like really look out for it honestly because it can be like hit or miss, like not all Walmarts and Target carry it, but if you can find it, it's just an amazing brand. So I'm gonna take that shade. I'm gonna run that in here. I should have waited for the eyeshadow primer to dry a little bit longer, but like, it's fine. We're gonna make it work. Okay, I'm not loving this brush that I have here. Let's switch brushes, because brushes are important. This is also another drugstore product, Sonia Kashuk Brush Cleaning Spray from Target, the best. You spray your brush, you take a little makeup cloth, or like a little rag, wipe it away, your eyeshadow brush is clean. It's like the best thing ever. So I'm using an Olimar Cosmetics blending brush. There we go. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, this brush is way better 
for picking up the product versus the one that I was just using. So I'm really gonna blow this color out. I don't even know what look I'm doing today. Honestly, I'm just gonna go with it, but. Mm. Brushes make a huge difference. It really comes down to your technique and like the tools that you're using because you could use, I feel like the most cheapest makeup. Like I've used stuff from like Dollar Tree and like I, you can make it work just depending on your technique and what brushes you're using. Like you don't have to use a hundred dollar eyeshadow palette to get like a pretty eyeshadow look. You know what I mean? This is bomb. It's amazing. Blends really easily. I mean, Profusion is just like I said, it's unbeatable. It's truly such a great brand. So I am going to take, which color do I want to do? What do we want to do today? Are we feeling something like purpley? Cause I think I'm feeling something purpley. Should we go with it? Okay. Let's take this deep purple right here on the end. It's like a really gorgeous bright purple. Oh, that's pretty. It's like grape soda. I'm going to take this color and you can just see how pigmented it is. I'm like barely dipping my brush in the product and I'm trying to do this ever so lightly. And I'm just going to kind of add that right on the outer crease, bringing it in just a little bit. And then with that previous blending brush, I'm going to blend as I go as well, right in that crease. I want to keep that really warm shade in there and this is going to help to blend everything and just to give it like that nice gradient take a little bit more of that soft transition shade and just run it right in there how pretty is that you see the colors layer really well and they blend out really easily too just start off with a little bit of product and just take your time blending this is probably a little too much but you could just see like I barely dip my brush in and I get so much pigment. It's like actually insane. So it always looks crazy when I first do my eyeshadow. And then once I blend it out though, it all comes together. Even when I'm editing, I'm like, girl, that is looking crazy. This side needs a little bit more purple because I went ham on the other side. By the way, this is only one of many eyeshadow palettes that Profusion has. I mean, they have a sultry palette. They have, I like own a lot of them and they are incredible. They have a festival palette. I mean, they truly have, I feel like a palette for everyone. Like they have more neutrals, more bright, more colorful everything like the whole nine yards. I'm going to go into this shade right here on the bottom. It's almost like a What's the word I'm looking for? Like a duo chrome. Like it looks like one color, but then once you start moving it in the light, it's like a different shade. It's so pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, let me actually use a brush. My nails are kind of getting in the way. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the eyeshadow and then I'm using some spray just to really make that pop and make it stick. And the spray that I used is from NYX. We're gonna use it just a little bit. And of course you could do like a super neutral look with this palette as well. There's like a lot of really soft, like pretty warm tones, but I wanted to do something a little different. I mean, clearly the technique is the same, but the colors are a little bit different than what I typically would do. Okay, now for eyeliner. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that the CoverGirl Get In Line liquid liner is by far my favorite. It is just so black and so matte, and I just love the finish of it. It has a really nice contoured grip, and it also has a super tiny little tip, so don't mind my nail. Don't look at it. Stop. It's just like really easy to work with in my opinion, and I just, I love this formula. If you don't love liquid liner like this one, Wet n Wild also has a really good liner. This is the Breakup Waterproof Liquid Liner. Also very long wearing, and it comes with like a pen, so like it's super easy also to apply. I feel like it's a little bit easier versus like regular liquid liner, but the formula of this, like I said, it's so matte and so black when it dries down. This one is super black, it just doesn't dry down fully matte. So like if that doesn't really bother you, then the Wet n Wild one's also a really good option. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl one today. And of course, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. eye tapes because I cannot live without these, especially whenever I want like a really sharp edge, like this is it for me. I'll show you guys the Wet n Wild one right now, the liner, mm -hmm. just so you can see it is like super easy to work with because it's like a pen, so it's like a marker and it's nice.
There we go. You see how easy that was? And then I'll show you the CoverGirl one, which I'm gonna use the CoverGirl one over top just because again, I want that matte black liner. That is a pointy wingtip. Look at the mm, elf eye tapes, girl. Go get them. Boys, too. They're so good. And I think these are like definitely under $5. And I always cut them in half, like just right down the middle, just because one strip is huge. I feel like you just need like a half strip and you're good to go. This is one of my favorite mascaras besides the ColourPop BFF Volume Mascara. This one is also really great. It's the Essence Lash Princess. It's only $5. And Essence mascaras in general, they're all really, really good. Like I have yet to try one that I don't like. Um, and they're all, I believe, $5. But these are great. You can get it at Ulta or online. And it's just like a really great mascara. Like it really does make your lashes look so long and for me like my top lashes aren't that great but I love it for the bottom lashes they also have waterproof versions as well so I'm gonna just do a quick coat of this because I am gonna do falsies today because that's like a must with this look and then my lashes are looking a little crusty because I am gonna reuse them but these are the salon perfect fully stacked lashes oh my gosh these are incredible the 630s it's basically the 614s and the demi wispies stacked which those are two of my all-time favorite lashes and these are so pretty salon perfect and kiss are my two favorite drugstore lash brands they have huge varieties lots of selection and their lashes are super affordable so this is one of my favorite styles i just got these at walmart and i'm going to pop these on really quick off camera and then my favorite lash glue is also drugstore and i've been using this for like five years the kiss strip lash adhesive it, this will also keep your lashes on through crying through sweating through anything it's the bomb diggity so i'm going to apply these and then i'll be right back and we will move into my favorite part which is the skin okay so lashes are on you can see they are a little bit more on the dramatic side but i feel like they are really pretty and very wispy and they're not too much, at least for me. So now, like I said, my favorite part is the skin. So I'm gonna start by prepping and just doing a little bit of primer water. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Primer Spray. So you could use this really before makeup, you know, during your makeup if you wanna refresh, and then after as well, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to basically drown in it. I say a little bit, but I always do a lot. I usually like to cover my eyes sometimes just so that the eyeliner eyeshadow doesn't like get splotchy or smear or anything. So just to be on the safe side. So then to further prime, I'm gonna use two different primers. These are just the ones that I'm currently loving. I, I can't stop wearing them. So first I'm gonna use a little bit of the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. I love this because it is super hydrating and this alone will make your makeup last all day. I just don't find it to like fill in my pores or anything. So I just use this to really just like hydrate my skin, keep it nice and plump. And my products go on really nicely over top. It also smells like candy. It smells really, really good. So I like to take a lot of this, to be honest, and I will put this on all over. So yeah, this is really great. If you have dry skin, I think you will love it. I have combo skin and I can't get enough of it. So then to really fill in my pores and make everything look super seamless, I'm using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So this is amazing. The original one is great, but I feel like this one's a little bit more lightweight and like less thick. I mean like the formula is still pretty similar, but I don't know, there's just something about this one that I like a little bit more than the original. So yeah, I am I use a generous amount of this. It's like probably not recommended, like if you look on Elf's website, but I feel like with the putty formula, the more that you use, the better your makeup will look and last throughout the day. I'm just obsessed with the way that this makes my skin look and feel like my products go on so nicely. And even though it is matte, don't let it fool you because it's not a drying primer at all. So even if you have like normal skin, I think you would really, really like it. So the skin is prepped, now we can do foundation. This is really no surprise if you've been watching my videos for the past like month, month and a half, almost two months. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, you guys. If you have not tried this yet, like, well, I don't know what you're doing. Like, just go get it. It's like $7, no, $6.50. Like, such a good foundation. I'm in the shade Golden Beige and it matches me perfectly. I actually also wore this on my wedding day and it lasted like through everything, through a very, very long day. I, like I said, have my makeup on for like 12 hours and it stayed put. I had no issues with it. So definitely get your hands on it. It's a really great everyday foundation or you could like build up the coverage a little bit and you know, make it more for like a special occasion going out. 
It's beautiful, it looks great in pictures, and it doesn't have the paint smell that the original foundation has. Like, this doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like regular foundation, you know? So, definitely try it out. I think if you, even if you have oily skin, you can definitely get away with it, because the dew, it's not too much, you know? Like, it's there, it's definitely a dewy, fresh foundation, but it's not like aggressive to the point where you're gonna look greasy. I think it really comes down to the primers that you're using beforehand. Like if you're using something that's very glowy and everything underneath, then of course your foundation's gonna look more dewy. But if you use something that's more smoothing, like if you use the e.l.f. matte poreless putty or like the original and then you use this, like you're definitely gonna be good to go. And I'm using my favorite e.l.f. total face sponge, of course, which if you're a beginner or not a beginner, you need it. Like you need to have these. So if you're like Jazz, you know I love you, but I'm not gonna try that foundation because I have super oily skin. I feel you. So this is another really great option: CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade M10. That's my shade. I usually use M10 and M40. So this is really great. Also, if you have super super oily skin, and I love this foundation in the summer because it is like I feel like in my opinion like a sweat proof foundation. Like it will last through hot, humid, sweaty weather. So. So this is also a really great foundation, but again, just the Wet n Wild one is just my current favorite. So I wanted to give you guys like a newer option, but those two are great. And if you go to Walmart, I believe this foundation is like 10 bucks, so it's good. For concealer, I have really been enjoying the new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love the original, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's such a great like everyday friendly concealer. It's like an exact dupe, I feel like for Tarte Shape Tape. But this one is a little bit more hydrating. And I have the shade Light Beige, which I really like this shade on me more than the original. I feel like the shades are a little bit different, but this is great. It's really creamy. It almost feels cooling when you apply it. Like it's, it's weird, but like in a good way, you know, like I love it. So I just do some of this right under my eyes and then I will blend it out. And with any extra product that I have, I'll just blend it down like my T-zone. I don't love to use like a ton of concealer anymore. I mean, this is still a lot, but you know what I'm saying. But this is great. I love the CoverGirl undercover concealer, you guys know that, but this is like a newer one that I have been really loving as well. I feel like this one is almost a little bit more hydrating than the CoverGirl one, and again, it's cooling. Like, it feels really good under the eyes. Maybe it's just me, but like, I love it. Definitely feels more hydrating than the original, but the coverage is still really great, like the original, which... I love, I'm all about it. Now for powder, this is actually a surprise. I'm not using the ones that I always use. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have really, really been enjoying this. It's super soft on the skin. This on their website is referred to like as a softening, like it almost gives you like a filter like under your skin. I do feel like this looks very airbrushed and it's very pretty under the eyes. The only thing I don't love about it is the fact that the shades aren't great. I wish it was just like one color for everyone, like a translucent shade, because I feel like light is a a little bit too light and then I feel like medium is gonna be a little bit too dark so I kind of have to mix the two shades so I wish they had like kind of more in between shades but it is a new powder maybe they're gonna come out with more but if you can get a good shade in this this one is amazing and it's really really smooth on the skin so I'm gonna do some right on my lid and then I'm just gonna press it in with my sponge I tested this out like last week and I've really, really been enjoying it. I've been using this like nonstop. And from what I've seen, it doesn't give a white cast. And I tested it out on my iPhone. So I pretty much just like set my entire face with the powder. And I just use my sponge to do it. I feel like it really gives you the softest effect. It's not like too powdery on the skin. And it really presses in the product nicely. My sponge isn't too damp too. Because you don't want to like have a really wet sponge. And then like be applying your powder. It's... It's a little damp, but it's not bad. For bronzer, I decided to switch it up and not use my usual Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, even though that one is amazing. This is probably my second favorite at the drugstore. It's the Milani Silky Matte Suntan Bronzer. I have mine in the shade 03. I really like this because it is matte, so you can use it to contour. They have a couple different shades, and it's a really soft matte formula. So you could apply a lot, and it's not gonna look muddy on the skin. So I am a big fan of this bronzer. I'm gonna use a little bit more translucent powder just like right under that bronzer to clean it up a little bit. For blush, I'm gonna use this Keepin' It Peachy palette from Makeup Obsession. Clearly, this is why I love it. I'm basically gonna use these three shades. I don't really use this one all that often, but 
these three are super nice. So very silky formula, really nice on the skin. And I'm just gonna use this duo fiber brush. This is so old. This is from Sonia Kashuk and I literally got this when I was like in ninth grade, you guys. That was like 10 years ago, crazy. I still have it, still going strong. See how pretty it is? I used a little too much because I really wanted to show you guys the color, but it's just like a really nice, like soft peachy blush. These are just like the kinds of colors that I like to go for. I'm gonna blend that out, but I also like to do a little bit on the tip of my nose. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. So it's a really good dupe for a Stila highlighter that I really love, but it's really like less than half of the price, it's crazy. But this is a really soft highlighter, so it's not powdery at all, it's really beautiful on the skin. So I'm gonna just take this with this brush that I got from Shop Miss A, it's just like a little highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the tops of the cheekbones. So soft, very intense, like it is definitely a beaming highlighter. So I'm not gonna do too much, because I've been really into like a soft glow, but it's so smooth, like, no matter how many times you dip your brush in here, like I'm really swirling it in here. You're gonna get no powder residue. Like it's crazy. It's just like the softest formula. I'm using the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. Obsessed, just has like the tiny little brush. And then I'm just gonna run that right on the brows because we wanna make these last all day. And this really works. Like don't underestimate brow gel because it is a must. I'm gonna do my lips and then we're gonna finish up the eyes and then we're all done. So I've been so obsessed with these NYX suede matte lip liners. These are like all that you need in life. They have so many different colors. Of course, I love this one, which is in Sandstorm because it's a nude, but these are so good. They're so creamy and I didn't, I don't know why I've never tried these before because I do like their slide on, glide on lip pencils, but I like these more. I don't know. I just, something about the wood. So yeah, this one's in the shade Sandstorm. It's just like a really nice nude, perfect for every day. Great formula. I mean, just check out NYX for your lip products because they have so much to choose from. Okay, now for lips. This is my current favorite lipstick from NYX. It's the Suede Matte Lipstick and this one's in the shade Dante Days. It's just like a perfect nude. Again, they have a lot of different colors in these as well. So really great formula. It's not drying and Wet n Wild also has some new matte lipsticks that I have been obsessed with. But there's something about this color. I like to just kind of like dab it in and you can just see it's so pretty. It's like that peachy nude that like we all love. Oh. Most of us, I think. And then I'm gonna top that off with some gloss. I'm gonna use the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Gloss. This is the best clear lip gloss that was ever invented in the makeup world and it's $3. It smells good, it's not sticky. It's bomb. Of course, mine doesn't look very cute because like I use it all the time over like all of my nudes. And I just love it because like you can obviously still keep the color of your lip color, but it's just gonna add gloss. That is pretty much it. Now we can just finish up the eyes and then we'll be done with this super long video. So of course, jumping back into the Mirage eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna take that same purple and I'm also gonna use a little bit of the soft brown color, just mixing the two and I'm just gonna apply that right on the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with the soft brown peachy shade first. Just gonna kind of run that under there. Actually, I'm not gonna do purple. I don't think that I want to because I'm gonna do purple liner. So I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Cause I know I, I did some purple on the waterline like a few weeks back. So I'm not gonna do purple today. Okay, and then on the waterline, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners. This is actually a lip liner, but I use it on the waterline and it is perfection. It's just like a hot pink and it's super creamy. Love this formula. They have a bunch of colors as well. They're kind of like the ColourPop BFF ones, but I wanted to give you guys another option and this is like drugstore so you can like easily get it at like CVS. So it's like a hot pink, like fuchsia, magenta. I feel like it's just perfect with the crease shade. And then of course, I'm gonna use the same lower lash mascara from earlier. 
Then I'm going to set my makeup. So you could totally use the same NYX spray, but I'm just like extra and I love setting sprays and trying out new ones. And this has been my favorite one from LA Girl. This really makes your makeup last. It's just their traditional setting spray. And it smells a little bit like summer, like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It has that like really light coconut, like warm scent. I love it. It's not too strong or anything. It's not gonna like linger out throughout the day. But when you first spray it, you can smell it and you can get a little hint of it and it smells amazing. And the spritzer on it is really, really nice. And we are done, officially. Okay guys, so that is it for my drugstore starter kit for beginners, or honestly anybody who wants to try out some new drugstore makeup. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful. I will of course leave everything that I mentioned linked down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. And let me know down below in the comments what your holy girl drugstore products are as well. That way we can all help each other out and look good on a budget. I mean, I'm definitely a firm believer that you don't need to spend a lot of money to look good and these products are it. So definitely check them out. And if you do, I hope that you love them just as much as I do. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!